Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Changes around us. Question number 1. The burning of paper is a reversible change. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option B. False. Reversible changes are changes which can be undone. When we burn a piece of paper it turns into ash. We cannot get the paper back from the ash. Hence, it is an irreversible change. Question number 2. In any situation, a change can be Option A. Reversible. Option B. Irreversible. Option C. Both reversible and irreversible. Option D. Where there is no alteration in state. The correct answer is Option C. Both reversible and irreversible. A paper board can be made from a paper and then by unfolding it, it can be converted back to the same paper. Thus this is a reversible change. Whereas when a plane drawn on a paper is cut out, then it cannot be put back at the same position, this change is permanent. Hence this change is irreversible. Question number 3. All the changes around us are good. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is. Option B. False. Not all changes around us are desired. There are many changes which can harm us. For example, global warming changes the temperature of our planet. However, if the temperature of the earth increases beyond a certain limit, it will become inhabitable for mankind. Question number 4. Which among the following is an example of reversible changes? Option A. Making structures of sand on beach. Option B. Making a gomlet. Option C. Burning gasoline. Option D. Cutting of trees. The correct answer is Option A. Making structures of sand on beach. Structures made from sand can be broken back to sand, so it is a reversible change, while making egg omelette and burning gasoline both are irreversible as they cannot be brought back to their original state. Question number 5. On heating a metal it contracts while on cooling it expands. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option B. False. On heating a metal expands. However on cooling it contracts. Hence, the given statement is false. Question number 6. Chanakya on his way home saw a farmer digging the soil. He observed that digging tool had an iron blade fixed to a wooden handle. He wondered how the iron blade gets fixed to a wooden handle even when the iron ring is smaller than a wooden handle. What do you think can be the way to do this? Option A. Heating the iron ring. Option B. Cooling the iron ring. Option C. Cutting the iron ring. Option D. Welding the iron ring. The correct answer is. Option A. Heating the iron ring. On heating the iron ring. It expands and so it becomes bigger in size. The wooden handle can go into the bigger hole. When iron rim is cooled it contracts and fits the wooden handle tightly. This same principle is used in many applications where a snug fit is required in metallic parts. Question number 7. Following figure shows change. Option A. Reversible. Option B. Irreversible. Option C. Periodic. Option D. Permanent. The correct answer is. Option A. Reversible. From the figure, it is clear that water on freezing becomes ice and ice on melting becomes water. So, both the states can be achieved by heating and cooling. Hence, 
The given figure shows a reversible change. Question number 8. Upon heating a solution of salt and water, we get salt as a residue. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. Upon heating a salt solution, the water in the solution gets evaporated whereas the salt remains at the bottom as a residue. Question number 9. In bullock carts, the iron rim is usually heated before fixing to the wooden wheels, because on heating, the iron. Option A. Contracts and fits to the wooden wheel. Option B. Expands and fits to the wooden wheel. Option C. First expands and then contracts, thus fitting to the wooden wheel. Option D. First contracts and then expands, thus fitting to the wooden wheel. The correct answer is Option C. First expands and then contracts, thus fitting to the wooden wheel. When the iron rim is heated, it expands. It is placed on the wooden wheel in its expanded state. When the temperature decreases, the rim contracts, thus fitting completely onto the wheel. Question number 10. Which of the following is not a component of the fire triangle? Option A. Heat. Option B. Oxygen. Option C. Fuel. Option D. Carbon dioxide. The correct answer is Option D. Carbon dioxide. Burning is usually studied using the fire triangle. The fire triangle comprises of three components oxygen, fuel, and heat. These are the factors necessary for burning to take place and fire to grow. Carbon dioxide, on the other hand, helps in extinguishing the fire. Question number 11 Which of the following is both reversible as well as irreversible change? Option A. Formation of curd from milk. Option B. Melting of wax on burning of a candle. Option C. There is no such case possible in general. Option D. Both melting of wax and formation of curd from milk. The correct answer is. Option C. There is no such case possible in general. Formation of curd from milk is an irreversible change, as milk cannot be obtained back from curd. Melting of wax in a candle is a reversible change, as wax can be solidified and can be converted back to a candle. In general, changes around us are either reversible or irreversible. Question number 12. An iron rod is heated. Which of the following statement about it is incorrect? Option A. The rod expands. Option B. The rod almost comes to the same size on cooling. Option C. The change, in this case, is reversible. Option D. The rod changes its shape and the change cannot be reversed. The correct answer is. Option D. The rod changes its shape and the change cannot be reversed. When an iron rod is heated it expands with an increase in its volume. On cooling, the iron rod contracts and regains its original size. The changes that occur on expansion and contraction are reversible. Question number 13. In the process of melting, particles of solid absorb heat energy from the surroundings. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. At melting point, the particles in solid gain heat energy from the surroundings and helps in start of vibration of particles at a faster rate which results in the change of state. Question number 14. When a change can be reversed, meaning when we can get back the original product, it is a reversible change. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. 
True, a paper board can be made from a paper and then by unfolding it, it can be converted back to the same paper. Thus, this is a reversible change. Melting of ice, folding of paper, water turning into vapor, inflation of balloon are some of the examples of a reversible change. Whereas, when a plane drawn on a paper is cut out, then it cannot be put back in the same position to obtain the exact sheet of paper. Hence, this change is an irreversible change. Cooking, growth in a living being, burning of paper are some of the examples of irreversible changes. Question number 15. In winter, water pipelines sometimes burst. Choose the correct option responsible for the cause. Option A. Anomalous expansion of water. Option B. Evaporation of water. Option C. Condensation of water. Option D. Melting of water. The correct answer is Option A. Anomalous expansion of water. When water is cooled, the density of water gradually increases till 4 degrees Celsius. At 4 degrees Celsius, water exhibit maximum density and minimum volume. On further cooling down, water expands and the density of water decreases from 4 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. This phenomenon is termed as anomalous expansion of water. During winter, as the temperature of the surrounding falls below 4 degrees Celsius, water in the pipe starts to expand and as a result the pipe bursts out. Question number 16. The process of separating the constituents of a liquid by agitating it vigorously is called as underscore. Option A. Evaporation. Option B. Churning. Option C. Filtration. Option D. Sedimentation. The correct answer is Option B. Churning. The process of separating the constituents of a liquid by agitating it vigorously is termed as churning. Example The cream is agitated by shaking up to make butter. Question number 17 A melted chocolate is kept in a refrigerator. It solidifies again. This is an irreversible change. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is. Option B. False. When a melted chocolate is kept in a refrigerator it solidifies on cooling. However when it will be kept at room temperature, it will absorb heat and melt again. Hence. It is a reversible process. Question number 18. Statement A. Heating a metal can bring about change in its shape. Statement B. Cooling a metal can also bring about change its shape. Option A. Both statements are correct. Option B. Statement A is true. Statement B is false. Option C. Statement A is false. Statement B is true. Option D. Both the statements are false. The correct answer is Option A. Both statements are correct. When a metal is heated, it expands and when it is cooled, it contracts. So, heating and cooling both brings about a change. Hence, both the statements are correct. Question number 19. Ajay goes to a forest. As he enters the forest, he witnesses all burned trees around him. An old villager tells him that a forest fire occurred last night. Ajay says, this is a reversible change. Is this true or false? Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is. Option B. False. Forest fires are irreversible changes. It is not possible to get back the forest in the exact same condition as before. Even if we sow seeds it will take a lot of time for them to grow up into trees. Question number 20. Reversible change refers to. Option A. Change that can be undone. Option B. Change that cannot be undone. Option C. 
change in which shape and size is changed. Option D. Change in which new substance is formed. The correct answer is Option A. Change that can be undone. Change can be classified as a reversible and irreversible change. Reversible change refers to a change that can be undone whereas irreversible change refers to the changes that can't be undone. Example of reversible change, melting of ice as ice can melt to become liquid and can be frozen to become solid again. So it's a reversible change. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.